Good day, viewers. You are welcome back to my channel. As always, my name still remains Israel. Today, we are carrying out another calculation on volumetric analysis in practical chemistry. And the calculation we are going to carry out on this topic is on determination of percentage purity and impurity. Look at a typical question. Solution A contains 3.65 grams of HCl. Solution B contains 7.9 grams per day of impure, let's underline it. Impure potassium trigocarbonate 4. The addition result shows that the first entry of solution B is actually a voluntary target. Neutralize it to 2.0 cm cube of A. This is the solution of we got from average volume of acid juice when you added the two concordant you took and divided by two. This is how it has indicated. In the result, calculate condition of A more per day into condition of B more per day into condition of B gram per day into the red purity of B, red purity of this is the purity of B. So to calculate this, first of all, look at the solution A contains 3.65 grams. Remember, it's gram per day, so it's standard solution. And the first one says condition of A more per day into. Therefore, we all use the relation. Let's start from here. Solution. Man. This is a more packet molar concentration, molar concentration, mass concentration over molar mass. What is the molar mass of this year? This gives us mass concentration is what they give in the question. 3.65 over molar mass of this year, 1 plus 35.5. This gives 3.65 over 36.5. And this will give us, let's check it out. 3.65 divided by 36.5 gives you 0.1. The answer answer we have is 0.1. Then the exam the examination bodies, you cannot write this, they mark it wrong. Means that you use 0 0.100 more per G and Q. Two is the different figures. This one is not allowed. Yeah, that is that for question one. A. Then B, condition of B more per day to do. Calculate more per day to remember. You have B as impure, therefore you must not use it. So you say B, use, write the equation for the reaction again. PHCl plus A2CO3, 2KCl plus C2O plus CO3. No ratio. 2 to 1. Then use the relation from the formula C A V A C B V B N A over N B where C A V A C B V B N A N B C is all calculated zero point one zero zero most put it directly the way you see it. V is um, Volume of acid, which is 22.00 CNK. Then CB we don't know. VB is 25.00 CNK. Okay, or rather 25 CNK is what we say to you. NA is 2, this one is 1. We say substitute. C is 0 0.100 times. V A 22.00 over C B times 25 equals 2 over 1. Plus multiply you have C B times 25 times 2 equals 0.100 times 22.00 times 1. This one is C B times 50, 0.100 times 22.00 times 1. Let's use here and see how it goes. Therefore, CB equals 0 0.100 times 22.00 times 1 
That is what you give you 0.0440 mole per day into, and that's the three significant figures. So that is for B. We've done this, we've done this. The law of the of B in gram per day into. So let's bring some parts of it so that we can have enough space to use. Good. That's good. Then we now have C in gram per day into. It's a mass concentration. Concentration. Equals molar concentration times molar mass. That is the formula you will do it. The molar concentration you have already got is giving us 0 0.0440 times molar mass of K2CO2. I know that K is 39 times 2 plus 12 plus. 16 times 3 do separately is 0 0.0440 times let's do it 39 times 2 give you 78 78 plus 12 plus 48 0 0.0440 times 78 Plus 12 plus 48. You see 138. 138. Multiply it times 0 0.044. You see 2.072. 6.072. Which gives you 6.07 gram per DNQ. Just this mass concentration. Then we can change this other one since we don't need it again. So the other question says, I've done gram per day, the purity of B. Since you have got this, this one can be taken as the pure. So we got it from calculation. And this one, the pure is a pure equals 6.07 gram per day MQ. Impure. 7.9 gram per dmq. Therefore, the percentage purity pure over impure times 100 over 1, which is 6.07 over 7.9 times 100 over 1. And this gives you 6.07 Zero seven. Remember the values we have. We must first of all, after approximating um, uh, it to this, we delete the one of the phone. You see it. You cannot delete this what is in the phone, but I just delete it to zero so I can type in this. If not, everything you are doing after that is zero. Six point zero seven times hundred gives you divided by seven point nine gives you. 76.835 ultimately 76.8 percent percent this is the purity then if you want to calculate the percentage impurity what you need to do is just move this one from 100 that's T this one is D then E percentage impurity 100 minus 76.8 let's see what you give us 100 minus 76.8 gives you 23.2 23.2% so this is how you calculate 
percentage purity and impurity. Once I want to get purity in terms of percentage, deduct it from 100 and get impurity and vice versa. Thank you very much once more for watching my video. God bless you all.